Hey guys, Professor Bill Comic Book University and Cable, issue number 150, Legacy Renumbering. So we went from issue, I think five was the last one, or six, I think it was five though, whatever. And we're going to jump over to this now. So Legacy Renumbering, done, moving on. So Cable comes to find out that Kondra, uh one of the externals, has been murdered. She's actually the last of the externals besides Selene. We know Selene ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Um, Selene is not quite Phoenix level, but she could challenge Phoenix, you know what I'm saying? She's not going to win necessarily, but she's that freaking powerful. So Kondra, the Red Death, um, she actually gets killed here. That's interesting. Uh, the last person who was killing externals, they explained in the book, was Selene. So they're going to go and uh, Cable's going to try and figure all this stuff out. And he needs long shot because he's got that ability to see like that post cognition to see the last couple of things that someone saw before they died when they're already dead. But she's apparently been dead a little bit too long. So she's only got but so much in her. It was somebody with a sword, though. It actually looked like Shatterstar's sword. And I saw him on the cover. So I'm like, hey, but no, he's like one of the first people they recruit. In fact, right after they recruit Dupe, which is... Phew, Dupe alone. <laughs> Dupe alone should be able to take out freaking Selene, you'd figure, but I guess not. Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess his power has been greatly overestimated. So these guys go after uh, Selene, and she's, no, she's not dealing, she's not putting up with that. She's broken no crap today, and she expects it's them, but they, they she's able to figure out eventually that, no, they're not the ones who killed Kondra. So, all right. Nonetheless, it's funny that he goes and mentions, Cable says, you know, we're here to actually protect you because the other externals are dead. And she's like, don't you realize that we're immortal? We don't die. And there's all the externals behind her or behind them. She's like, she's laughing her butt off. And I just need to point out that Cruel looks bigger than freaking ever, which is scary, scary. They're going to need Warpath on their team. They need Warpath back on their team again. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, rather, I do see that Blink and Armor are going to be on the team also. I'm really glad at those two. Uh, I can't tell who I like more, Blinker or Armor, but I really always did like Armor, even though we never really got to see too much with her. She did team up with Wolverine for a while before he died, but I love Armor. I love her uh, her powers. That's amazing. Um, X-23 is also going to be on this. Uh, Laura Kinney, the current uh, all-new, all-different Wolverine. I feel like I'm seeing a bit too much of her lately, specifically because she's over in the Weapon X book also, but whatever. <laughs> in the meantime, this this looks amazing, guys. This comic looks like it's going to be amazing. I know the first series, I complained about the first two issues, and then suddenly they explained everything in issue three, and by issue four and five, it was just, it was off the charts incredible. And it looks like we could be following a similar, uh, similar kind of story, because before... They were dealing with, uh, Cable with dealing with, uh, the sword of the Eternals. Now we're dealing with the Externals. So this could actually be, they could potentially do a tie-in for these two. I wouldn't mind seeing something like that. In the meantime, for what I'm actually reading here, I'm giving this story an A. This is, wow, amazing, amazing. I want this story to continue. I want this to play out. I want to have all sorts of fun with this. Oh man, this looks like it's going to be, like, this looks like a reminiscence of the early days of the X-Force. I mean, they're actually bringing them, uh, a lot of these guys back. So I'm down. I'm down with whatever they're going to bring me. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.